Hello friends, this video is related to data fitting using solver add-in using excel add-in that is solver technique the usual criteria is to minimize the sum of square of errors that is using least square principle let's see an example now this data fitting can be a linear form or it can be in a non-linear form we'll consider both the problems so let's consider one first a simple problem now the problem which I've considered over here is through an optimization of chemical process by Thomas Edgar the problem is uh, problem 2.11 that is unsolved problem now over here the data is given that is x and y values are given and we try to fit this linear model into this that is y equal to c0 plus c1x and we'll compare the results with the graphical estimate then is we'll again try to fit this model into a quadratic form that is we'll have an additional term over here that is c2x square and then a repeat for the cubical model that is now we'll have y equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus c3x cube and we'll plot the data for both the quadratic as well as for the cubical fit first let's import this data on our excel sheet let's say this is we have x and we have y Now we wanted to fit this model C0 C1x. So what we do is let's assume a C0 value to be some arbitrarily assumed value and similarly C1 also some assumed value. Now we'll try to calculate why calculate using these values of C1 C0 C1 in this equation. So it will be C0 plus C1 times Now we wanted to drag this correspondingly for different values of x but when we will drag this it will not pick up these values since these values are not freezed. So in order to freeze these values of c0 c1 what we'll do is we'll put a dollar sign in front of h4 that is c0 and in front of h5 also that is c1. Now when we we'll drag this we can see it will pick up those values of c1 c2 which we have defined c0 c1 which we have defined now we'll calculate the deviation and then we'll calculate the square Now we'll calculate the sum of these squares and we have 3.0. Now what we do is we will use no solver technique. Now this solver technique is present in this data form. If it is not available we have to enable it. Now what is this solver is? Solver is basically an Excel add-in that can solve problem by enabling a target cell to achieve some goal. Now this goal can be to maximize, to minimize or to have some targeted value. Let's see. Now we can get this solver. This is an enabled. This is not enabled in all Excel. We have to enable it. For that, we can go to this option over here. Then we have an add-ins. And then in, in this add-in, there is a written manage Excel edit. And we'll have click go and we'll have to tick this solver add-in and then we'll click OK. This solver will appear in this in a uh, data tab. And when we we'll click this solver, we'll have this window. Now this is what we told earlier. We can target a specific cell, and we can uh, manipulate. It will manipulate different values of C0 and C1. Let's see. 
so we have a uh, set objective over here is the sum of this that is sum of y squares this will deviation square should be minimum that will be, we'll take this minimum or we can set it to be a value of zero minimum by changing okay we can change any variable we, we wanted to change c naught and c one okay and then we'll click so so it shows the solver has converged all the current values so this is what we have is C0 as uh, 0.196 and C1 as 0.974. So these are the values of C0 and C1. Now we can also see these values of C0 C1 if we plot these values. For that we are going to click chart. Okay. change the calculate uh, the experiment the predicted values sorry now we can clearly see the orange points were the calculated values and the blue line where represents the data point which was given we can clearly see there is a deviation now if we add a trend line to this calculated value a linear thread R square. We can also see it's the same values of C0 and C1 which we have calculated using solver technique. Clear? And it, ha it says the R square is 1. Clear? So that means this linear model variables C0 and uh, constant C0 and C1 they predict the model accurately because R square is equal to 1. Now we're trying to fit a quadratic model into this and calculate additional term that is now C2. So for that what we do is we can add another term C0 over here and we'll modify now by calculated that will now this time will be C2 star x square and we'll fix this value of C2 this okay now again we'll go to the solver target value is this it should be minimum now this time we have three variables which we should we want to be they have they should have a minimum they should give a corresponding minimum value of this sum of errors so if we click solve, calculate, and we have these values with the minimum value of least square that is 0 0.11. Now again, if we go back to the plot, if we see now these uh, orange lines are the calculated points. Now again, we'll see the trend line correspondingly. Now this time we'll have a polynomial equation of second order. You can see again these values of C0, C1 and C2 are the same which we have copied over here. So this is how we fit for quadratic expression. Then we can approach a, a cubical one. For that we will have C3 again equal to some value 1. We will modify R. We have now fourth variable. This time it will be a cube. Again, we see the error changes. This one will again solve set target minimum. This time we will have four variables. Again, the solution has converged and it has performed only five iterations. So, these are the variables which we have.
for it. I can try to set it up to zero. Now let's do it to a value of zero. Okay. So now we have uh, these values of C0, C1. Now again, if we go to minimum, again we'll try to solve it. Again, it will give us the same value of C0. Now we can see for the cubical fit. There is no deviation between the experimental points and the calculated points. So we can plot again a trend line over here. Cubical fit. So this cubical fit model has again the same, same uh, constants as we have calculated using solar technique. Now we'll consider a non-linear problem. We'll try to use this solver technique to fit a non-linear problem. Oh, now over here, we have a non-linear model available with us, which is of form y equal to a plus 1 plus x square raised to power n. Now again, a and n are the constants which are to be estimated, and this is the data which is to be fitted. So we'll uh, get the values of x and y in the excel. target to be this that's a minimum value of zero by changing B. well I'll take this because if there is any negative value it will calculate that otherwise if we do not untake this it will convert that negative value and approach to zero it will not give us a negative values of any a and b if it is so click solve so solution is found so these are the values of a and b now over here I've done a minimum value of zero so it has a minimum value of zero. If I click on minimum and then again try to solve it, it will approach the same values of A and B. So over here A is one and N is point minus point five. Now that means there's hardly any uh, different values of minimum or value of zero. We can set this target to be a zero. Now let's calculate the r square in this now in the previous problem we have a, a simple model available in the trend line but in the non-linear problem over here we need to calculate r square now for r square we have this formula that is 1 minus the division square over y square summation of y square minus summation y square by n so we have this deviation square we need it we have a summation for y also and we need it to calculate so we have 
summation y cap here and now we need to do calculate y calculated square okay for that okay now we have all these terms n and for n we can count these ends or we can use this term count and try this so we can tell that there are 9 data points now we calculate r square equal to so this 1 minus deviation square by this minus summation y square divided by the number of values n. Now we can see clearly with these uh, values of a and n this r square approaches a value of 1. So we can see we can use this solver technique for any data fitting equation whether it's a linear problem or whether it's a non-linear problem but the tick but the only mistake which you can people do is we can we should be careful about the data points which we are using okay so if you have any query you can drop in your problem at the email id given in the description thank you very much